What is going on guys? It is Trader Cause. Welcome to another uh, trade review slash market update video. Uh, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, maybe Litecoin, DOT, Sol, and probably, probably ended around there. Maybe we'll look at FTT, but there's not a ton to say about that other than it only goes straight up. So let's jump right into it. Uh, talk about Bitcoin. So <clears throat> this daily supply up here was the target for my long. The long I entered and posted on Twitter um, that I longed right here um, and then closed it here. Um, and since then, I've just been riding spot and focusing more on Ethereum. But that was a really nice um, run on Bitcoin. About caught just under, no, right around 20%. Um, and now we're pushing above. It looks like we are breaking through this daily supply. Um, let's see. So we got rejected here. I think that was the, this was not unexpected at all. I didn't think we were just gonna go straight through this on the first shot. Um, came back down, retested, or just barely missed, but basically retested this area of interest. It's where we stalled here, or where we bounced, and then it's where we stalled here. Um, and range for a little bit. So if you want to draw a range right there, retested the range high perfectly and pushed up from there. Um, I would not be surprised to see this just go straight for all-time highs at literally any point. Um, I think it looks very bullish as long as it stays above this daily level, right? So I think it could pull back here and then go up, or I think it could even pull back here and then go up but I, I would want to see that move to be a little bit quicker, maybe just a wick. Um, but I mean, there's not much to say other than this looks really bullish. We've had what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green candles in a row. This one locks in in 15 minutes. By the time you guys are watching this video, it will be locked in. Um, but a close above here would mark our highest daily close yet. So super bullish stuff going on. Um, and I also don't see any reason why this couldn't push up here, keep our bullish market structure intact, and then get maybe a little bigger retrace, but who knows, because last time we broke all-time high after consolidating for a while, it just, I mean, spiked through and then kept grinding straight up. Or let's look back, let's say when we broke this one, Actually, I don't need that. It just gets really stretched out. Sorry about that. When we broke this one, it just kept grinding up and didn't really pull back. So we might get something like that again where everyone's probably gonna be expecting this to pull back because we've had so many green days in a row that we might just spike right through this to like mid 60s and then consolidate there and then push up again. Um, I think that could definitely happen. It's just, this has been grinding up bullish news everywhere. Like people are paying 60 something million dollars for NFTs and Bitcoin is still under 60 K. It seems a little ridiculous to me. Um, but overall this looks super bullish. This range was good to us. Um, if you guys remember like beginning of March, we've been on fire. And if you've been watching this video, so I don't know if it's possible that you haven't been making money. Uh, we longed around here, 45K, took profit here at 52K, relonged at 46, and took profit at 56. So ever since, I guess, end of February, beginning of March, uh, it's, been, it's been great. It's been great to trade. This range was super textbook, and now we're getting expansion out of it. Um, and it's looking bullish. Market conditions have been good. Um, so as far as trade setups go for Bitcoin, I don't really see anything jumping out at me um, that I would take right now. I think if it does break through all-time highs, you could try and long a retest of it. Um, but... Um, but there's nothing like right here other than that. I mean, sure, it could pull back and you could look for a long or pull back here and you could look for a long, but that wouldn't really meet any of the criteria for setups I take. I would much rather like form a range here and then maybe get a range low sweep and then a break out of the range. That would be 
um, good opportunity. But for right now, I've just been holding Bitcoin ever since I closed my long right here and trading Ethereum and some other alts. So let's get into Ethereum now. Ethereum has been a perfect example of taking profit at resistance and compounding and it's been the, like this past week, I guess, week and a half of trading Ethereum has been one of the best examples of compounding as well as taking profit at resistance and then re-entering on a flip of it. Um, and I've honestly been pretty proud of myself during this stretch because it does not always play out this well. Um, but, you know, it's been good. We talked about all these on stream or posted them on Twitter. I think I posted say, limit orders. I got filled on a limit order on this one and this one, posted both of those on Twitter in advance. Um, and things are, things are looking pretty good here. So <clears throat> if you guys follow my content, you know that we have a beautiful range right here. We put in a range high. And a range low came up, didn't quite sweep it, but we tested it. Equal lows there, then took out the range low, broke back in, um, and now we've officially flipped the mid range. So that is a, sorry, there's something got stuck in my mouse. That is a very bullish sign. Um, and I really liked this two hour demand right here. And so when we have a really nice range like this, and equal lows there and there's a very clear demand level right underneath it sometimes i'll set limits in anticipation of this range sweep happening um, if there was no clear demand here then i would have had to wait for this candle to close back inside actually i probably would have waited probably would have long this one an hourly close <clears throat> back inside the range um, but because we have this super clear demand level here I set limits at 1740. I posted about that on Twitter um, with the CMM verified screenshot. So you guys know I am taking the trades that I talk about. Um, and I'm targeting at least 1900 on this, I think. So that's the daily supply for Ethereum. Um, and if you compare that with Bitcoin, Bitcoin's already above it. So Ethereum's lagging behind a little bit, but ETH BTC is starting to look okay. So I'm still, playing longs on Ethereum and I would, if we get a move up to here and sweep that high, I would probably close the position and wait for us to settle this range and then break out of the range um, and then look to get back in. But if this just breaks through and retest this and holds the range high support, I'll continue holding this trade up to all time highs. But Ethereum has been really solid um, and it's the kind of win streak you go on where it's like, okay, maybe I should take a little bit of a break because I know this isn't going to uh, continue like this forever. Like if you guys are new here to the channel or following me on Twitter, it doesn't always work out this perfectly. <laughs> I will be the first to admit that. I'm not a perfect trader. I lose trades here and there, but this streak on Ethereum has been, it's been a lot of fun. Litecoin, I don't really have a trade set up here. Litecoin is lagging behind quite a bit. So if we're looking at Ethereum, we had this resistance right here. And on Bitcoin, that was this one right here. Um, Litecoin is still trading below that. So it's been lagging quite a bit, but I think this could lead to a really solid opportunity once we flip this level. Um, just because this has proven to be the very clear resistance level. Um, that's where we consolidated, rejected here, 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 here. So we've tested it about four times now. So once we get a nice breakout, and it might honestly be a move like up to oh, up to 220, up to this resistance here, maybe we get a move up to that and then retest this 205 to 208 level. I think that would be a nice long on Litecoin targeting this previous high in 250. So that's kind of what I'm watching for, but if this just keeps messing around down here, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna wait for a clear breakout and then buy into that strength. Um, Dot is the other one I'm in right now. Um, so we had, and I'm still in a little bit of, I wonder if I still have that, it should be this guy. Nope. 
this one. Yeah. So I'm still in a little bit of this, but I closed most of it on this hourly sweep. If you guys watch my videos, you know that is one of my rules. So I'm only in about 25% of this, but that is partially why I added on um, some back here. So it took profit at 38.8, added back on on 36.8, and it looks fine right now. Um, we broke out of this downtrend line, really nice um, breakout from this, however long of a consolidation you wanna call it. Um, and formed a bit of a range here, so we put in, I'm gonna delete this X, because it's in my way. Put in range high, range low, swept the high, swept the low, came up, rejected at the mid range, and then retested the range low, and that's held so far. So that's kinda exactly what I would wanna see, but now I really wanna see this get above the mid range, that will show some nice strength, and then wanna see it get a nice range breakout, and then I'm targeting this, high at 42 or whatever it is, 42.3. And then I think the next target will be $50 on dot. But overall that looks solid. Um, I think this is still close enough to the entry that if someone wanted to long dot, they still had time to get on board or you wait for a little more confirmation for it to get above here or get above there. But I am in dot and Ethereum and just closed out the rest of my, well, my sole leverage long. Uh, I posted on Twitter right around here that I was building a leverage long position on Sol uh, and that I felt we were bottomed out, added back on, or added more, <clears throat> compounded it here. You can see we stalled around the monthly range, forms, or monthly open, form some demand, clear breakout, retest, and go. Monday's high was my initial target, so that's been hit. Um, and yeah, sold, played really well. From when I first started building the long, it's been up about 25%, and from the compound right here, just under 20%. So Sol has been very good to us. FTT, um, super bullish chart. Nice equal highs here, range low break down from the mid range, sweep the low, and it's just been on a moon mission ever since. And this looks like a very clear range breakout to me. So that is FTT back in price discovery. So we'll see where it goes, but super bullish on FTT. As you guys know, FTX is my exchange of choice. And I think the way they integrate FTT is uh, seamless. Lastly, let's talk about ETH BTC. Before I let you guys go, trying to keep this one under 15 minutes. Um, this is our daily demand. We formed kind of a rounded bottom there, had a nice breakout, uh, and now we're kind of retesting it. This isn't the end of the world. Um, I think, what did I just do? Oh, do I still have a white line on here? No, nope, I wanna keep that one. I'll sort through that later, but um, this level right here is kind of the same as this one right there. So I'm gonna move this because now this level is my relevant daily demand um, because it was the last bit of selling before the breakout, break in market structure, and now we are retesting it. I really don't want us to, I don't wanna see us lose this. Um, this is a pretty deep retrace in the first place, but um, technically, like this, we have broken out from this range. Um, or if you wanna look at the consolidation, the tighter consolidation right here, broke out from that, rounded retest, really need to see it push away from here now. Um, so it's kinda now or never, I probably, I mean, if we do dip again, you gotta think it's coming here before going on its next run up. So a little bit of a make it or break it level, at least for now, but that's part of why I am bullish on Ethereum because it is sitting right on support, you know? Um, so we definitely wanna see that hold. And this black line, is that a monthly level? Yeah, so it's this monthly SR level. Um, it was the last move up before we made new lows. Um, consolidated around that for a bit. And then you can see it acted as resistance here. Um, 
like very clear resistance and then broke back down breakout break in market structure once again and now this is our retest so monthly candle looks ugly right now but we still have 20 days left and from a very high time frame perspective this 0 0.31 is a very important level so definitely want to see that hold um, i think that's pretty much it if you guys enjoy this content i'd appreciate a like and subscribe i try and do absolutely everything I can for you guys for free to help you uh, make money. I don't want to take any of your money and charge you for this stuff. Um, so appreciate likes and subs and whatever um, engagement that can help me grow the YouTube. And then if you guys do really enjoy the content and want to support me a little bit more, you can use the FTX referral link in the description. It will get you 10% off fees and that is the biggest fee discount that FTX offers. So Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one and let's keep making some money together.